Look what the postman brought today. It's the Bing Fu Lantana. Why did I buy it, you're asking? Well, I'm going to share that with you in a second. Let's jump into it. Welcome to this episode of Radio Tech by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, we're going to be taking a look at the Bing Fu Lantana. I just got this in. I purchased this actually for use with my uh, TH9800 crossband repeater radio so as you guys might remember in a previous episode i did a why did i buy it episode with that radio and again i purchased it because it's a cross band repeater so i can talk on 440 hit my two meter repeaters in the area with a handheld around my house i don't have to be tied sitting in front of a radio all the time so my idea is to use this to get it up and running quickly. Now I plan on putting a, a better antenna and everything else on there, but for right now, I just wanna see if the idea works before I spend a lot more money going down that path. So I picked up this guy. It was rather cheap off of Amazon. It's got dual choke set up, about 10 feet of coax. It terminates in an SMA connector here at the end designed to connect to a mobile radio. Um, now the one thing is I did give this a small metal ground plane and took my nano VNA and took a look at the SWR on it. It bottoms out at 160 and 480 which is a little bit on the high side I thought for the bands I want to use it on obviously in the 140s and in the 440s. So I'm going to give this a shot. It's not a long term solution by any means and wasn't intended. Now one of the other things when I look on Amazon I see the same antenna or what looks like the same antenna being sold for use with FM stereo, scanners, all kinds of things with different connectors. So I don't know if they're just reusing the image or it's a different antenna, the same antenna and that's why kind of the weird um, you know SWR measurements on it or where it resonates at I don't know but again I'll give it a shot I'll let you guys know now the other thing is it's got the SMA on here how am I going to connect it to my uh, TH9800 because it's got a PL259 well here's the kind of bonus unboxing if you will I picked these guys up on the cheap and these are adapt from PL259 to SMA it was super cheap uh, I, and the reason I share this with you guys is I think if you're a new amateur, these are definitely worth having around in your kit uh, to be able to adapt antennas like this to uh, like, you know, radio, mobile radio like the TH9800. So it was a cheap and simple solution to a problem. Now, if you're interested in either of these as well as the uh, TH9800, I'll have links to them below. You can check them out, see the specs. Maybe it works for you, maybe it doesn't. Uh, I'll post, keep you posted in the future how this antenna works out for me or if it doesn't. And uh, hey, we'll catch you in the next video where we hopefully get something else cool or do something else cool. Hopefully it'll be around the TH9800. Cheers and see you in the next video.